So in this segment, we want to talk a little bit about how to go about accessing the ESSER funds that we've been describing. So here in the state of Illinois, it's the Illinois State Board of Education that actually controls these funds. The funds are accessed by grant application through the ISBE. Now again, there are funds allocated at the district level, but the ISBE is the one that holds the key to distributing those funds to the districts based upon the grant requests that they receive. So there's a process for applying for a grant through the ISBE that starts off with logging into the portal at the ISBE. Now we're going to spend some time kind of showing you these websites and sharing with you what we've learned as far as where to go to access these funds, but none of us at the music shop are actually ISBE um, employees, nor are we teachers within the state of Illinois. So we do not have the login credentials to actually log on to the website and walk you through. We will show you where the pages are, but you'll need to use your own credentials and go in to find those. And again, all of the links to the websites that we show you here are found in the description of the video down below. So let's take a look at the websites. Okay, so to get started on the website, you'll want to open up a Google search window or whatever uh, engine you use and type in ISBE, the Illinois State Board of Education. Uh, you'll want to look at ISBE.net. It could be, if you're thinking ISBE.com, it won't get you there, but if so you type in the Illinois State Board of Education, that'll get you to the right spot. When you get to this page, you'll see a lot of choices, a lot of drop-down menus. I think it's easiest if you just simply search for ESSER, E-S-S-E-R, in that search box here in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. And that will take you to these choices, and the very first one is a step-by-step -step application process presentation. If you open that, that takes you to a PowerPoint presentation that goes literally step-by-step. -step. Gives you the background on ESSER that we've talked about here in the videos. A little more information about that. Most importantly, it'll direct you to the IWAS access, the Illinois Web Access Security site. It'll get you started there. Remember, you'll use your own username and password. If you're not already set up, it will give you how to do that here so that you can sign up now or get additional help if you need your own username and password. Once you're into IWAS, it's a little blurry here, but this is actually saying Elementary and Secondary School Emergency Relief Grant. So this takes you directly to the grant application in the system listing page. And again, this document will show you how to get there. Once you're into that process, you can actually fill out the grant application through the grant management system. And then this will help you follow through on that, give you an overview of all the documentation that will be included, how to go through and create your actual applicant information page, and in general, the information that you'll need to follow through on this grant. Remember that you will need additional approvals, but this will get you started in the, in the right direction. So as you can see, the websites are a little bit complex, but hopefully with the guidance that we can provide you and with the guides that you'll find on those websites, you'll be able to navigate that, uh, that system well enough to get your grant application composed. Now, it's important to note that as you're going through this process, you as the educator do not have the ability to submit that grant directly to the Illinois State Board of Education. Uh, you do need support at your district level. You need to get approval from your administrator, and in the documentation we've seen, they don't define who that administrator is, so we don't know if that approval needs to come from your building administrator or from somebody at the district level, but we would recommend that you start with either your immediate supervisor or somebody within your building as far as figuring out who needs to approve your grant request. And most importantly, the person who actually needs to submit that request into the ISBE is your district's title coordinator. Now that title coordinator position may be a standalone position. It may be somebody who does this full or part-time for the district, um, typically speaking at the district office. In some of the smaller districts, however, that title coordinator role may be a set of responsibilities that are held by somebody who has a different full-time position. For example, a district bookkeeper or secretary who also may act as the title coordinator uh, when the need arises. So we would suggest if you don't know who your title coordinator is, that you reach out to your district office and ask. 
they should be able to guide you as far as who that title coordinator may be. We hope that you found this information very, very helpful. Uh, we are very excited about the uh, opportunities that exist in the state of Illinois with regards to the ESSER funding. We think it could make a real difference in terms of the music programs here within the state, especially as we plan for returning to normal education, normal teaching processes post-pandemic. We would encourage you to reach out to um, your administrators. Feel free to reach out to us if you need any assistance. Um, don't hesitate to contact your educational sales representative, or you'll note that we've got an email address down below, esser at themusicshop.com. If you have any questions about the funding, feel free to email us there. That'll get right to our educational team. And don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm happy to talk about this as well. We at The Music Shop are very active in music advocacy, both at the state and federal level. And this is something that we find very, very important. We're actively working to support you and what you're doing out in the field. We really appreciate all of your efforts. Uh, we can't thank you enough for the support that you give The Music Shop. And we share your feelings for getting back to a much more normal style of education. Uh, we look forward to getting out of the pandemic that we faced in 2020 and 2021. Look forward to a much more normal school year in 21-22. Thank you again.